my October favorites video. This is Allie from The Gypsy Teacher. I am super excited to start this series with you all. I've seen lots of other bloggers, especially beauty bloggers, doing it, and I thought it would just be a fun way to end the month with some favorite products that I've been using lately. My first section is makeup. Alright, so the first product I have is my awesome foundation and concealer. They're actually supposed to go together. Um, it's the Fit Me <clears throat> It is the Fit Me Collection by Maybelline. I really like this um, foundation because there are so many colors to it. I had a BB cream like foundation before. BB creams were popular um, from Maybelline, and it worked super well. It was great, and then they discontinued it, and I was like, no! But I really do like Maybelline's products. They really tend to have a lot of great products for especially fair-skinned girls like me. Um, so this has been my concealer lately, and I actually use the 115. This is the 110, so it's a little lighter than what I use daily. Um, but they were out of the 115 when I got it, so I've been using the 110, and it works okay. It just is a little too light. I have to add a little bit more bronzer and um, blush, but um, it's an, how do I say this word again? Octinoxate sunscreen foundation, so it has SPF 18 built in, and it really does fit you. I think one of the things I remember about it when it first came out was that it kind of molds to your skin tone. So um, I think that was on the commercials when it first came out. But I really like how it's super easy to blend, but it gives you a nice full coverage. I use it every day and it works awesome. And with that comes the concealer. Um, they, they have like the same ranges in skin tones. So I have the light 10 level here with the fit me again and this goes on super smooth it's a liquid foundation or it's a liquid concealer and I just stick it under my eyes and sometimes around my nose and it conceals on my things that need to be concealed really well if you have fair skin or if you just need a good foundation try it it's worth it um, my next product is for the lips and it is the baby lips um, I have two, these two colors right now. They are perfect for any skin tone and they highlight your lips in such a great way. They last eight hours of moisture on here and it gives you great color. Even though, um, like if I swatch it on my skin, it doesn't give a super big pigmentation, pigmentation. but on my lips, it does. So it's a really... Um, it's like a cross between a lipstick and a lip balm, so you still get some color, but it's so moisturizing for your lips. I have it on my lips right now, and this is the Pink Punch, I think that's the name of it, um, color. And the other thing I like about these, like scented or tasty, like I like those ones, but then I look at my lips and my lips are getting even drier. So I love these because they stay on long and they work great. The other color I had, I'm all out of it now, as you can see, is Grape. And even though you think that would kind of be a too dark a purple, it was my baby lip. Be on the lookout for more of these coming up. And definitely next time you're in a drugstore or Walmart or Target, which is my favorite place, um, pick one up because it's amazing and it will change your life and your lips. Um, next product is my eyeshadow that I picked up the other week. Um, now I'm kind of embarrassed to show this one because it's so low priced and cheap, but it actually does really good things for my eyes. It is the NYC brand eyeshadow trio. Um, it's, it's the HD color trio eyeshadow from NYC, um, in 781 Long Beach Sands. So if you can see, um, there's three different colors. I use this color up here to highlight on my brow bone and tear duct. This is the main color for the all over on my lid and then 
the middle or the end color, the middle of the two, I used to do like on the in, inner eye, eyelid and crease, which I usually do a darker crease, but this actually looks really great and highlights really well. Um, and it stays on longer than you think. Like I do have to press in a little deeper and get some more pigmentation, but for the bang for your buck is a great deal. It's just a nice neutral for fall. It's not too dark. It's not too light. You can use it how you want to. Um, but I've been loving this. It kind of has a little bit of a shimmer to it, especially the middle color on the end here. So that's another favorite. And my last one for makeup, if I can find it, is my eyeliner. I use the Exaggerate Eye Definer from um, Rimmel. And this is waterproof, which I love. Um, and I got it in the darkest noir black and I use it's a cream base so it goes on so smooth and so easy it's so effortless which I love because I can't stand like the gel liners because my fingers aren't that talented to stay in one place and the um, just the regular pencil are too rough for my eyes so I love this because it let like you can decide if you want super thin or thicker. You can do a, like a cat eye like I did for my leopard makeup um, for Halloween or you can just do a daily upper um, lash line. It's so easy to use and um, another great part about it is the other end there's a little smudger so if you're looking to do a little bit more of a smoky eye smudge away and there you go. It's a pretty cool tool for your eyes. Um, but this is, has been on the top of my list. This is actually my second purchase of this one. So that's how you know I like it so much. <music> Moving on to face care and um, face products. I have, um, my first one is the Simple Brand um, Cleansing Wipes. They actually do cleanse your face. And Simple is a brand um, found in Target and places like that. It's a really great one for sensitive skin like I have because it, there's no dyes, there's no oils, there's no alcohol, um, there's vitamins and good stuff for you and that's why I love it. Um, but it also is, is strong enough to take off that um, waterproof mascara and waterproof eye makeup that I use. So um, it's just simple goodness. And it's my new favorite because some of the other um, eye remover wipes that I've used have kind of made my eyes sting before. This one doesn't do that at all. And it's super good at taking off makeup. Like, I had to take off all that makeup I put on for my Halloween um, makeup. I did a leopard. And this took almost 100% of it off. Just one of them. Two sides. It works awesome. So um, these are keepers and you get 25 wipes. So it lasts you a little bit less than a month. You only need one of them for each time you wipe your face off. And um, it's like five bucks, I think-ish. So great deal there. Simple cleansing face wipes. Um, and then my last product is this True Blue Spa Green Tea Fizzy Foaming Face Mask. Um, green tea is a great... Um, soother for your skin, but it also I feel like it, the aroma for it is like almost an aromatherapy to relax you, but yet energize you. So I use this in the morning time. Um, it's a really lightweight mask. I'll kind of put some on my hand here to show you. It goes on like a creamy base and kind of goes in almost translucent to your skin, but in a couple seconds I'll show you it'll watch, and watch as it foams up. Um, so what I love about this is, like I said, it's super light. I put it on like on a day when I'm not washing my hair, um, when I take a morning shower. I'll stick this on my face right before I head into the shower and then just rinse it off in there. Um, it foams up pretty quick on my face and so it doesn't take a while. It's not like one of those that you have to let sit for 30 minutes. It's a really quick acting and quick um, light mask. Um, I got this, this was at Bath and Body Works, and unfortunately this 
um, line, the True Blue Spa Face Care line has been discontinued, but you can probably find it like online, or we're having our big semi-annual sale coming up next um, in the next couple months, right after Christmas, so you can search the bins there, or um, anything that has like green tea and is a fizzy mask is going to be good too, so I'll try and hunt one down that would be similar for you um but it's like i said it's super lightweight and notice look at that foam it's awesome uh, it works really well and i love using it that's all i have for you guys today i hope you'll join me again for my next um vlog with beauty i am going to be doing a whole um informational one on all things christmas at bath and body works